Hey everyone, it's Irish and welcome back to my channel. As I promised, I'm going to make a video regarding my U.S. citizenship interview experience and here it is. Um, promises, promises. Anyway, so this video is just all about what happened during that interview and I will try to give some tips um, and so you are, you know what to expect. Although, um, you should know that each experience is unique. So I might have experienced something that you might not experience, you know. Okay, so I mentioned um, previously that my original interview date was supposedly December 14, but I wasn't able to make it because I was um, still in the Philippines or like flying back to the United States at that time. Um, and so we had to reschedule it and it was rescheduled January 23rd um, at 12.15 in the afternoon. So it was a Monday. Now, um, before that, like, or when I received the original date for interview, I got another email saying that I have to bring Kenny with me for the interview since um, my application for removal of condition for my green card is also or like they're also gonna do an interview and it's based on marriage so that's how i gained my permanent residency um and so they needed kenny with that um and so i brought kenny with me uh we got there around i would say 11 40 11 45 something like that and we hang out at the parking lot that we actually parked in the same parking spot where we parked um on my initial green card applications hi guys we're here at the usas here in irving I'm about to have my USCI USA. I'm a, I'm about to have my US citizenship interview and we are 15 minutes early so we're still waiting. I mean my interview is at 12:15 and it's 11:45 a.m. So we cannot go in until um, 15 minutes till my appointment time. So I'll update you guys later um, we got there and um, I I know from watching other people's videos that you cannot enter uh, 15 minutes prior to your or you can only enter 15 minutes prior to your interview so 12 15 12 is when we walked in um, so first thing when you walked into the USCIS building, make sure that you already have your green card and your appointment letter on hand. So just as you're approaching the building, just have it in your hand because that's the first thing that they are going to look for when you walked in. Before they do all the security check and all that jazz, they're going to ask for your green card and your appointment letter. So you don't want to be like, um, I'm here for my interview and they're like, can I see your green card? And like you start looking for it and you know, when we panic, we tend to like, like oversee things and like, oh it's not here so or it can also hold other people back and they will be waiting as well so make sure that you already have it ready with you and just hand it to them so there's that and then they since i have kenny with me because you were not allowed to have um like somebody else with you but since i brought him i was determined to bring him inside with me because like I know I, they were requiring me to bring him and they said that did you receive an email so I said oh yeah I believe I received an email about it so because it's based on marriage that's why like that's what I kept telling them and they said like no I don't think they need him so I showed them the email and they let him in so of course, like it's basic protocol effectively that I've heard it um, from other people's 
um, vlog as well. Like you go through the um, security check. It's all the same. If you have done your um, very first green card interview, it's the same. They are always going to do the security check. So you have to remove your 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 shoes and your belt and all that stuff. Um, and then after that, they ask me to go to another um, cubicle to where they took my pictures and fingerprints. So biometric. Um, I don't know if they're going to use the picture that they took during that time, but that was not the one that they used for my new green card. So there's that. Then after that, they um, asked me and Kenny to go upstairs and said show this to one of the ladies upstairs and they're gonna tell you what to do next so I showed it to the lady upstairs and she was the one like um, receiving uh, pe people's papers and giving it to the immigration officers so there were like quite a few people over there especially given at that time like lunch time so they were like maybe 20 30 people waiting there and immigration officers are like in and out they are in and out um and i did not notice my paper going in to one of the um office so some of most of them actually most of the officers will come out of the like door and pick up a paper or an, an appointment letter and call out the person's name and then they will walk in together but that's not what happened uh, to me so what happened was one of the officers walked out the door and she was already holding the paper and called out to my name um, so Kenny and I stood up and started walking towards her and she said oh since I'm already um, automatically approving your I-751 application, so then we will not need your husband during the interview. So which makes kind of sense to me because I won't be eligible to apply for U.S. citizenship if I'm not approved for the I-751, you know, or if I don't have a uh, valid green card or if I'm not a legal permanent resident so then Kenny just stayed there together with the rest of the people waiting for their turn to be interviewed and me and the immigration officer just walked to her office um, so in some of the videos I know that the officers swear you in um, that did not happened to me I actually kind of like stood there and kind of wait for her to say hey, I'm gonna swear you in but um, not really so she just told me to sit down and um, get a little like small talk before we began so we started with the six civics questions um, so after actually you will have you have 10 questions civics questions and if you um, answer six then that's it so first six questions I was able to answer correctly so th she didn't ask any more other questions after that um, if you are wondering what questions she asked me um, this is not a chronological order but she asked me what is the supreme law of the land she asked me who is the first president name a uh, Native American tribe a branch of government um, she also asked me who the current speaker of the house and since my interview date was just after the election so I made sure that I memorized those newly elected officials and uh, during that time it was already um, Kevin McCarthy as the new speaker of the house and so when I answered that she was like typing it and she was like I guess they already um, 
I like the new one, huh? That's what she said. And I was like, oh, well, I guess when you answer, they just type your answer and see if it's correct. I don't know if she like actually Googled it or something, but she typed a lot. And then I think the last one was what is an amendment or I think, yeah. But anyway, all those questions you can find on the list of the questions or 100 civics questions. So if you review that, you should not have any problem. Then after that, um, we proceeded to the reading and writing. Reading and writing is pretty easy. Um, she told me to um, read a question and it was who was the first president of the United States is the, the um, question for the reading part and then for the writing part she will um, dictate the answer Washington was the first US president so just um, be careful with the stylus pen because it's kind of difficult to uh, maneuver <laughs> or to use but otherwise it's pretty easy uh, I did not have or she did not ask me any other questions like um, like the book vocabularies she did not really ask me that stuff um, but she did ask me to show her my passport and my green card so I gave that's the first thing actually that she asked is my green card and my passport um, if you have uh, an expired passport and you just renewed it make sure that you bring both of them I actually brought with me like a completed application form the N400 application form and then some of the um, copies um, that I submitted together with it but um, she did not ask for any of them so I'm not saying that that's always the case but just come prepared you know so she um, asked me regarding the application like are you going to change your name and I said yes and so she so each time you are making any changes to your application she will put a note and you have to sign it on the tablet and uh, she, uh, each time she verifies something you have to sign um, on the tablet as well just to uh, like update your application so um, I had to sign for the name change um, and I have to sign for the Pledge of Allegiance and I think I had to sign for since we went um, back to the Philippines after I sent the application so that wasn't on the original application form so she asked me like have you been outside the United States um, within the uh, five years past five years so since it wasn't um, recorded on that, I had to tell her, like, yeah, I uh, went back to the Philippines this month, up to this month, and that's I told her that's why I uh, missed my first um, uh, my first interview date, and she said not a problem. So she just put uh, like a note, and then I had to sign it. So then um she asked some more questions on the application form like kenny's name um and things like that um effectively like very very basic questions so the entire interview took probably 10 to 15 minutes so i always say it was shorter than the time that I uh, like was trying to figure out what to wear on my interview date that's how quick it was so after that she said like I'm appro approving your um, application for US citizenship 
and that um, you will get a notification letter from us um, after a few weeks or six weeks she said but since I'm changing my name it will take longer than that um, so she said you'll just have to wait because a judge has to be present during um, the oath taking ceremony um, and she also told me that uh, she is approving my I-751 application, which is the removal of condition, and that um, they're going to send a new card. So, there's that. Um, so, just tips before you go to your interview. Like I said, um, make sure that you study. Study your um, 100 civics questions. I watch some videos there are some videos that are very helpful like they also do some mock interviews to where they pretend that you're actually on the interview and if you prepare yourself for the interview